Okay, this is a short lecture about um, models and why we use models in statistics a lot. So, um, most generally, a model is just a simplification of something more complex that tries to explain the complex thing in a way that's simpler and easier to understand. Um, one model that's very uh, easy to think about is the idea of a fashion model. We've all seen pictures of fashion models or a video of them going down the runway in their fancy clothes. And the idea of a fashion model is that it was supposed to be the idea that as you looked at the fashion model, you could imagine how the clothes looked on you or on someone else and you could decide whether or not it was a good idea to buy those clothes. We can see already from that, the idea that a model is wrong, right? Then again, the person is what they are, but Models are typically picked for having a certain body type, certain shape, they're often very tall, with the idea that you could then imagine uh, yourself wearing those clothes, but in practice, they would probably look quite different to how uh, you might look in them or how somebody else might look in them after they've bought the clothes. So thinking about a car, um, here is a model of a car, and you know this is my son's, he's six, he likes it a lot, he can zoom it around and bump it into things and have two of them. And he would say this is a pretty good model of a car. If you were trying to learn how to fix a car or you were thinking about buying a car, this is not a very good model at all. You might even say, well, if this is a model and this is another model of a car, well, first of all, this is a truck, but I could imagine him saying this is a better model. Look, it's bigger, it has some more details on it. Um, you can do some other things with it. You get the doors open, that kind of stuff. But it still doesn't help you with those other things. So this idea that the purpose of a model determines how useful it is, determines whether or not it's a good model. Um, I think that's the idea that we really want to uh, pursue in this short video. So um, here is another model of a car. I got it from uh, just Googling, so you can see that it has all the different components of a car. Maybe you're really interested in how the engine works. Uh, so maybe a model like this is more useful to you. This is how uh, internal combustion works. And right, that's very important that the pistons go up and down and the spark plugs, and that's how cars move. Um, if you look at a bigger representation of a car, like say the Wikipedia article explaining a car, you could imagine that they're going to include many different models as they do that. And in fact, their top level picture of a car is just a whole bunch of cars in a traffic jam in Ontario, Canada. And if you scroll down, you can see there's some old cars, there's some people who worked on cars, and then moving forward to some new innovations. Here's an electric car. Here's some cool lights, smart cars, all kind of things. So all of those are just different representations of cars. Even in a sense, this map, which just shows how many cars there are per thousand people, is a model of a car, a model of how cars are used, but it's very different in how um, such things go. So um, the idea that typically a good model will include many smaller models that help explain different elements that would be useful for different people is really one to what we want to have. And so just in conclusion, I want to use uh, this quote by George Box. George Box was a mid-century statistician. Um, he was been turned into a meme, which not all of us can say it has been true. And George Box, um, his quote is, all models are wrong, but some models are useful. And in fact, that Wikipedia page goes into that detail all the time. He actually said the quote in reverse, which said, how wrong do they have to be before they aren't useful is really what you want to think about. That all models give some value, they give you some understanding. And even the most simple model, this one, or maybe you can imagine drawing a stick figure of a car uh, on a piece of paper, um, how that helps your understanding of a car, how that helps you understand these more complicated models. What we're going to be doing throughout the second half of the class especially is we're going to be using models to try to understand complicated data sets and in all of those cases, the models are wrong in the sense that we're not looking at every piece of every uh, variable. We're not looking at everything we can do with that. But instead, we're trying to figure out what can we learn that would be useful from that model. Okay.